There we go. We should be live. We should be live once again here in Joking Giants 74 YouTube channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Today I will be doing weapon paint emblem tutorials. As you can see, you guys can already see some of the emblems in my weapons. Uh, I've been doing this for the past few weeks and I was thinking like, man, I should, te I, should, I should teach people how to make these weapon emblems because I've always seen even some of the top players not even use the weapon paint. Like, come on, man. This feature has been implemented like since like a while now. So why haven't anybody customized their own weapon paint? That's what I'm surprised about. Okay, the microphone's working. That's a good thing. So what I'm deciding to do today, I'll be doing some weapon paint tutorials for you guys. So you guys can also have some unique emblems on your weapons. I mean, I only have I only have them for some few of them, so um, you guys can see like a little bit. You see, you guys can already see that one right there, little Woofy with a with a screaming noise. I have like a little Joker on the Hades weapon, and I have like a little Rhino on this one. This one stands out a lot, really. Um, even with the with a camo, it still stands a lot because I wanted to make it like feel wild, so I decided to put like a rhinoceros on it, a Rhino. So it kind of looks dope, though. I kind of make it like look like it was like neon on it like it stands out pretty well so um so i was thinking like man i should really do a video about it but i was thinking like now nah, you know what i'm gonna do a, a whole live stream tutorial on how to do weapon paint on every single gun that you have this one's like half finished to be honest i, I just like did it real quick it's not that difficult so um let's start off with the with a spitfire Let's go to paint jobs. By the way, to go to paint jobs, just press triangle on personalize on your weapon. Then go to paint jobs and then create a new. This is the one that I didn't have. I have had this one like for a while already, like for three weeks or so. And um, I know how. I know some of you guys are gonna ask, like, how did you do the emblem in the middle? To be honest, the game already provides you with that, those kinds of emblems. Just go to stickers, and you guys can already see like some of them available for you, which you can like place on your weapon. Even some, some some sticker sets that you unlock from the black um, from the black market. So you have like some of these on. You have like um, that's about it. Like these two are pretty much preset stickers, and I know people barely even use them, or just they just use them on on their, on their emblems. So um, why not place them on your guns? So let's do this right now. Let's use this one right now. I haven't even used this emblem at all. So um, let's make it look dope. So we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. And the reason why I'm doing like emblems or uh, weapon tutorial today is because people have always asked me, because when I uploaded uh, an emblem video, people have always asked me to do tutorials or slow down the video. So I'm thinking like, you know what? I'm just gonna go live and do one of these. So uh, here I am. So this is like for your weapon and stuff. So let's use this one right now. And by the way, these things actually do stand out pretty well when you're playing the game. So uh, there's that one. Now let's go to tools. And these are so easy to make. Anybody can do them, to be honest. Anybody can do them. <laughs> so even, even even if you're missing some fingers, I'm pretty sure you can still do this emblem. It's not that difficult. So we're, we're going to be mostly using some of the splash emblems. Not that um, hard to find. As you can see, like it's, it's already like looking pretty much well with a little bit of paint in the background. Now uh, let's add a little bit more patterns. Uh, there's... There's a lot of more things you can add, you know, there's like different kind of styles, different kind of designs to like add to the weapon. So, which makes it even more unique. So, um, let's use this one. I'm gonna make it bigger. Make it stand out to the left side. Now here's gonna be a little bit of a problem. I'm not sure this is gonna work pretty well. Okay. To toggle the gradient, press square on the emblem and you can add two colors in the same emblem. As you guys can already see, it's already combining pretty well gonna need a little bit of dark colors actually we need to put them backwards okay let's put that one and then let's make this one blue it's gonna go from red to blue or something or purple it's too pink man let me see you just gotta like play around with the colors here to make it look like okay-ish and then you'll be fine with these but like it doesn't seem like it's coming out how I wanted them to come out like purple color, kind of like death, you know. Since it's a skull, you want to make it like look as more threatening as possible. So you just gotta play around with the colors here, and you should be able to get get the right color to like make it stand out a little bit more cool. But it's not coming out. Like we can get. Oh, there you go. It's like between these two colors right there. Like we can finally get one or this one. See that th that one actually stands out pretty much well. Purple and blue. 
it's a good combination right there. So we can like put them like right here. It's kind of trippy to be honest. Like you can't really tell what the color is. So that's what makes it even cooler. Like these are like unique colors and stuff. But it's like almost purple. So we want to gonna add that there. And then we're gonna we're gonna flip it with the middle button. Flip. And there you go. Make it like a layout kind of thing. Like you know, set it up a little bit. So we got that going on. Uh, let's add another color. Um, if, uh, as long as you gotta keep adding more and more into it, the the emblem stands out more unique on your weapon. Um, let's see. Let's add a little bit more, uh, you know, more uh, convex kind of style emblem. So let's add this one on top, like right there or something. Let's stretch it out to the top. There. Let's see if we can find like a reddish color. It's because they had they have to like kind of equal to each other. I don't know. How, I'm not sure how to explain that, but like the colors have to like. <laughs> be almost the same to make it like a unique color. See now this one's standing out pretty well with yellow and yellow and red. So it's kinda okayish. Let me see if I can find another color for it. Maybe pink. See that one kinda makes it stand out okay. Hmm. So yeah it's because the reason why I'm doing this is because people keep on asking me do it slow down the video or I can't even why the fuck don't you slow down the video? Like people are like literally disliking my videos because of that. You see we can add bluish. It turns a little bit bluish red there, so it's perfect. It kind of goes with the combination of the of the feathers, you know how it goes from red to gray to yellow? Like you do the same thing with the background with black, whatever that color is, and purple. <laughs> so it's like a good combination to be honest. It makes it stand out pretty well compared to other people's weapons. So we're going to do the same thing, copycat, and then just sit on the other side, flip it over, and bam. You got yourselves a good emblem right there. So it just stands out like that perfectly. And everybody's going to ask you, like, how do you even do that? Well, you have, like, preset emblems in your inventory. So uh, it kind of looks okay-ish. Um, if you want to add more to the background, you can. Maybe, like, a little bit of, um, I don't know, like a Reaper or something in the background. Maybe you can. It's not that difficult to do. Like I said, anybody can do this. Anybody, like no matter what. Or you, you can just add the weapon, or just make it look like it was a fire or a flame or something like this. And then uh, let's toggle a little bit more gradient. Let's make it into a bluish thing. Bluish. Like it almost combines with the same color, kind of. Oh, this one doesn't combine with any. Like you guys can already tell like which colors combine and which ones don't because uh, they don't look good when they don't they don't mix well. Like this one's too bright, man. We want to make it dark colors, but it looks like nothing combines with a certain color that I wanted to. The lightest blue doesn't combine with anything. Like it's like mostly red, blue, and purple that combines with something pretty much well, even yellow. But like for the rest of it, like it doesn't really combine pretty well. See that this one combines pretty well. Purple, uh, that's I think that's royal blue, royal blue with red. So this one combines pretty well. You can make it look like this, like you know. And then we're gonna add another one, and then we're gonna let me see. We can like go crazy with this, like no, there's like no limits, like really. Well, there's a little bit of limit, but you know what I mean. Like there's so many ways you can combine colors for this thing. So, um, I don't know, none of the colors look well with this one. I know purple and blue kind of goes together sometimes. But, like, um, looks like this game doesn't really combine them pretty well. <laughs> like, I know on, on Photoshop, I mean, you can make, like, a, a series of colors and they look pretty well. Like, in this game, it doesn't come out that well. That's why you gotta, like, you know, explore a little bit, little by little. And it'll come out pretty much well. Yeah, this one doesn't come out well at all. So I'm gonna just take it off. Like you can just mess around a little bit with the colors and you know, you'll get something. So like right there, it looks pretty much decent. It's simple, like I said, anybody can do this. Uh, I'm gonna do it for another weapon right now. So this one looks okay-ish. Like right there, it looks, look, it looks okay. Maybe I should like take away this one though. And just make it like a simple like splash of, uh, of the skull. So that's not difficult to do. Let's name it, um, Let's name it Devil. You know, you can put whatever name you want. So, this is the one that I originally have. This is the new one that I made. I mean, you guys can also do like a little circle on the back, like add more to it. Like, this is just simple. Right now, I'm gonna go to the more complicated options in a bit. So, 
So that was like little, like a little emblem you can add to your weapon, and you can do it on whatever weapon you can. Like any any weapon you can like uh, customize the weapon paint and stuff. So. So now let me set up my new emblem. You see, it stands out with the gold, like whatever camo you put on, even with this one, which is the dark matter, right? Yeah, th that's dark matter. It stands out a little bit, but you know the little glowy part is gonna take over it, which is ugly. This is why I don't like the dark matter. Like I don't care about the camos really. Like this one looks alright. I have this one going on. So like it stands out with every single camo. This is why I, I would say like you gotta put like neon colors kind of style, and it will stand out pretty much well. So that was like a simple emblem. Let's go a little bit more complicated with some other weapon. Let me see. I know a lot of people use the the SOG and stuff. Let me see, I have that weapon. This is already done. This one looks alright. And that's, that one with a simple emblem. I want it to look like a jungle kind of style thing and kind of looks like it will. Alright, let's change this one out. A weapon that everybody uses. Uh, I know the Cordite. It has like a flat ground. Let me see how this one goes. I never use the cord. I, I mean, I, I'm still. I don't know. I have like little max and all, but it's still like I just can't get used to the gun. Let me see how much ground. Oh, it only has the back part. No wonder everybody has like empty weapons. Look at this. You can only customize the back part of the cordite. That's how far the emblem goes. No, oh, that sucks for the cordite. Never mind, let's switch it off in the quiet. Uh, we can use the, um, the GKS also has a flat round. Hmm. I can do a classic one that everybody used to do back in, uh, uh, did Black Ops 3 have weapon paint? I don't remember. Like, there's an old school one that people used to do all the time. Let's do it on this one. Let's go to paint jobs. How much does this one cover, though? The reason why I'm doing that is because I want to see how much ground does it cover, so I can like see how big of an emblem can it go. Okay, so it goes that much. Like a classic one that everybody used to do. Let me show you. It'll probably be like with this one right here. I mean, you can do it with whatever strip of paint you want, to be honest. But this is one thing that everybody used to do. It doesn't even it doesn't make a difference really. Let's make it red. And then copycat, and then just change the color <laughs> to orange, and then so on and so forth. You guys get get the little bit of a, you know, get the idea here of how people used to do this. Like they used to do the rainbow color ones, <clears throat> and then just green. <laughs> the whole rainbow color of the of the thing. Let's see. And then I guess this one's like more greener or something. Not really sure. And then you can just keep on going forever. But let me finish the whole thing, you know. Let's see. Right there. <laughs> the whole rainbow, man. A little bit of baby blue. Are two colors like. Oh, that one's too close. See, like, it's not that difficult to do. Like I said, like, I notice a lot of people playing this game with no weapon paint on their guns at all. Or, or they don't even know if there's weapon paint in the game. I have a feeling like most of the new players in this game don't even know that there's weapon paint. So. I am surprised. I am really surprised. That's one feature that I'm glad that was added to the game. But like nobody appreciates. So this is why they remove features like every single Call of Duty because people don't really use them. Kind of like a Madden also, same thing. I mean, you can do this like uh, one color at a time also, and it should be like extending your rainbow a little bit longer. So um, just saying, because this is as far as it goes. red again and then you just keep on repeating <laughs> I don't want to do the whole damn thing I mean I'm almost done but uh, I have to start the colors again like that so um, I'll just save it whatever halfway down 
Actually, isn't there like a unicorn in the game? A unicorn emblem? I think there is. Let's see. There has to be a. There, there was a unicorn somewhere. No? Hmm. To be honest, I thought that was a unicorn. <laughs> well, since there's no unicorn, I might add like this one or something. Um, maybe on the icons there was a unicorn? But I have to like customize like the bits of the of the whole thing because it doesn't have like the whole thing. It's like it's just plain white emblem. No, there's no unicorn. There it is. I knew I freaking saw a unicorn somewhere. Jesus. Okay, so we got a unicorn going on. <laughs> like we can just put them right here. The thing is, we gotta customize like the little bits. So um, it's a white unicorn. Let's see. We need a little triangle, like um, because I've gone through the emblem like so many times because I've been customizing so many emblems. That's why I have like so many videos about emblems and stuff. Yeah, it's not gonna look that good if I freaking just put it on like that. I hate that you cannot customize like the parts of it or like. You know how you can like if you if you have Photoshop you won't understand you, you, just, you can just fill in the color, so uh, it sucks that you can't do that. So I'm gonna add another color here. You can't really tell if it has a different color or not. Like very, it's not very distinguishable. We can use the black color to make it like um like like it's the original, so you can kind of tell. I need to make a copy of this. Turn it black. There, there, there you go. Now it looks like a sticker, which is good. Okay, so the, so the way you can do this, let me let me do it again. You gotta copy the emblem, then go back to the one behind it. Click the emblem and then press square. It's gonna toggle like the outline of the emblem. So you just change the color and boom, you got yourself something new. But well, this is what you can also do. Check it out. You can press square on it. And then you can change the outline color. You see, which adds like more like uh, more of a unique outline. Like it's crazy. Like I said, I'm just doing this like for free. Like people can just take these emblems and put them on their weapons. So like a combination of two good colors, like very bright, would be nice. Something that makes it stand out. There you go. Boom. Kind of like yellowish, bluish. This one you can also do the same thing. The problem is, I think I'd rather just keep it white and then just put a different color on it. I know purple will work pretty well on this one. Red? I mean, the outline is what makes it stand out the most in this one. You have to like put dark colors on it. How come nothing combines with red? I remember something combined with red pretty much well and I forgot which color it was. I think it has to be like a bright color to be honest. I know blue does it pretty well also. There you go. Got yourself a horse running on the rainbow. <laughs> now we're gonna add like more to it. Let me see. Maybe this one will be looking pretty well. I want it to look like a pathway. So we're gonna be like I mean, you can kind of tell. Now this is like I said, like this is like a more complicated emblem because you got to do a lot of things. Like these things are not that difficult. Let me see, does it work with an outline? Kinda. Maybe with a greenish color. It doesn't stand out very well. Because it's bright colors with bright colors or something. I forgot, man. Like some of these things are not. I used to take art class like a long time. I know this has nothing to do with art, but like, uh, I remember like so the 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 teachers used to explain to us like you know what color combines with what and and they combine like pretty well uh, translucent or whatever light and blah blah. blah. It's a long time ago. I'm just trying to sound smart, I guess. <laughs> 
but like I do remember a lot of that explanation. I, I was like the only one paying attention to those classes, to be honest, because I know the other guys were like, "Oh, what did he say?" I'm just kind of color. <laughs> I'm like, I'm interested in, in art and shit, because I just, you know, if I had to create, I might make my own creation at some point, you know, of a character. I would love to. Yeah, none of these colors make sense, to be honest. <laughs> they don't make sense. Maybe this one a little bit, but like, whatever. Just leave it like that. Let me see if I can like put them in the bottom now. I I just want you guys to play with this, you know, just just like no wrong or right answer to be honest, uh, with some of these things. So there you go. We got a unicorn <laughs> going through the thing. There are some wings here you can like possibly add to the unicorn to make it look like a little bit more of a standout. I think there's some wings somewhere. Let me see. Man, it's difficult to go one by one. <laughs> I hate it because I have to like stop a little bit. I just wanted to be quick. But people have told me like slow down the damn video, so I'm like doing a whole live stream about it. <sighs> Where is it? Wait, hold on. Okay, never mind. There's no wings. None of them. There's like not a single wing. There used to be a sticker. Not a sticker, like a like a tool or something that had like a partial wing. Oh, maybe I had to do like by hand. Like you had to like set up the little pieces to make it look like it has a wing. That's that's probably the only the only way. Yeah, I had to like play around with the shapes here. It might have to be with this one, and just like make it look like it was part of the wing. Let's see with that one. You have to like do with the opposite color or whatever the hell is there. Doesn't stand out, bro. Oh, there you go, there you go. A little bit on the green. Okay, we almost have it. It's a little good combination here of red and, and green. Like in between colors. There you go. So let's just do another one. Boom. Got ourselves a unicorn there. It looks alright. I think we can just leave it like that, but the back part is like wide open, so. Let's just add like a little splash effect. This one. Let's see. I know I'm gonna use like the color purple most of the time it's because that's like the neon color kind of style. And that's the only thing that can like kind of like make the picture look good to be honest. Purple and pink somewhere. See, that's simple. Let's add another one. Like I said, I was gonna do a more complicated one and this is the one. Just like to make it more look more unique. Now we're going to need a lighter color. Green can kind of work with that one. Yellow and green. I mean, you can barely see the yellow part. Oh, shit, because it looks like a highlighter, to be honest. Okay. Can we flip it so it can make it look different? There you go. It's going to be looking more yellow. Looks alright. I mean, I can finish the whole rainbow if I wanted to, just to make those unicorns stand out. But I'm too lazy to do that. <laughs> you still have to like put more of these and then just start to color it over again. Whatever. It's like half finished. But you guys get the idea. It's gonna call it Yumi. Save changes. Boom. We got ourselves a paint job on the on the vapor. See, that stands out pretty well. Because every time you reload, you're going to be able to see the emblem. And like, also, when you like... I'm not sure if I can flip the gun. Is there any way I can flip the gun? <laughs> I want to show the other side how it looks, because I know it like flips it. And you, if you have words on the on the weapon emblem, 
I know it's gonna like be backwards also. This is why I don't add words. Yeah, you can't even flip it. What? Oh, you can set it as a custom decal? I didn't know that. So that means I can use the... <gasps> so does it transfer it over to other things? Let me see. Uh, save changes, I guess. Let me see. Let me go to one of my older... What the hell is this? Oh, that's like one of the... Black market stuff. Yeah. You can only be able to tempt the black market. Okay. Let me check if it did do what I think it did. Go to the GKS. Edit the paint job. Um, you can make your own custom one. Holy crap, I didn't know that. You can make your own custom emblem. That's the first time I found out. <laughs> so as you can see, like there's the weapon, there's the one that I did for the other weapon. You can make it bigger or smaller, and then boom. So like if you don't want to make it like another you know emblem. You can just literally use this one as for the background of it. And you won't even tell if it's the unicorn or not. <laughs> but yeah. Since the dog was yelling on that one, I was like, you know what? I should just put like sound waves on the side to make it look a little bit like badass. And it did look good. And that was like super simplistic too, the fear one. See, like it was just like these four. And then just like the colors in the background. This one has blue and yellow. I'm mean, blue and pink. Blue and pink. Yeah, this one's yellow and green. And then it's just the regular emblem in the middle. So you can pretty much just customize your own emblem and just like, um, you know, save it. I didn't know that. So there you go. I have like a few emblems done. This one's so simple. But like the most complicated one, I just did it right now. This one's alright. Wait, where's the one that I just did? There it is. The unicorn. Alright, let's go for another weapon. Uh, I mean, I, I use the rampart all the time. The reason why I use the rampart is because it is one of the strongest weapons in the game. The Olympa. You can customize a sniper if I want. Since people love to quickscope, why not do one for the quickscopers? Alright, and I, even though I do hate quick scopers, you know, you know, this is gonna be like the only choose it's gonna be. <laughs> oh, okay, so you can't even customize a freaking sniper either. This sucks for them. I wonder why, like, there's a freaking big ass magazine right there that you can like customize a whole block for, and you can't even can't even do that. Like, that's the most grounded covers. That's, that's why I put like the little white square so I can like tell how how big can I do the emblem. And you can't really do much in this thing. You can only do it for certain weapons, to be honest. Like, and it sucks. I already have one for the pistol, but this one's like so simple. But the thing is, you can customize it. Like, uh, let me see. Let me do the strife. Let's do one for the strife. Why not? Even though people barely use pistols nowadays, but why not use the pistol for first customization? Um, I wonder if it's possible to make gold color because I know this game doesn't have chrome or anything, so that's one thing. Let's use what emblem should we use? We can use this one, the octopus. Hmm. You can't use this one because it has letters on it. Let's just use, yeah, let's use this one. Just to make it big so we can like see the skull a little bit. There you go. You can kind of see the skull. Which sucks, really. Okay, let me add up a background because I'm not sure if you can see it pretty well. You can barely see it, man. Some of these decals are really low quality. Hmm. He's a cheeseburger. <laughs> Let's see. We can use this one. Simple, nice and easy. We can do a Halloween theme kind of like kind of pistol. Hmm. 
Let's see, it's so simple to do. See, it's so simple to do, but people yet don't do it. <laughs> That's what I don't get, man. People yet don't do this. Because, I don't know. I'm guessing they don't have time or something. Do a little bit of that. And we can add a little bit of like a... Like a spooky setting or something. I mean, I'm not f very fond of Halloween, to be honest. So that's why I'm like so bad with like decoration of Halloweens. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna come out ugly, man. But you guys get the idea on how to customize these damn things. <laughs> you guys get the idea. can use this one. This one's like very standout, to be honest. So let's use that one. Let's put a little circle behind it or something like there. Nah. I think it was a bad idea doing this. Doing that sticker, but... I like this one. This one comes out pretty much well with it. can use this color. Actually we can use purple because it does have like a little purple color right there on the eye. You just gotta play around with the elements and you'll find the right thing. <laughs> there we go. It looks better now. It looks way better now. What we can do now? I think there's a bunch of series of skulls we can like put on the gun. I wanted to put like a like a bunch of skulls, like three skulls, like on the on the on the rail of the gun, and then uh, it should be looking pretty much well. But I believe there's like a like a very few skulls. I'm not sure if there's many. Pirate skull, we can use a uh, fire skull. Hmm. Oh, there was a wing! So I was right! Jesus, I didn't even see where it was. It was right next to the unicorn. <laughs> well, too late. We can also do a bunny one. Let's say, what other... There ain't much to... Oh, there it is, there it is. We found like a few. Found two of them, at least. I don't want to use that one. That one's too cartoonish. I remember in Need for Speed on the ground, there was a, a little logo with a, with a bunch of skulls on it that you could put on your car. Put this one right, right here. Let's make this one smaller. Actually, I didn't see some of these. <laughs> Kind of looks alright-ish, but we gotta customize it a little bit. So, uh, let me see. Gonna need the orange color. Put it behind his hat. Because that's the Black Ops 4 logo. And we're gonna have to like duplicate some of these because we need to like make them black. And then toggle the outline. Not sure if that stands out or not. It stands out a little bit. You can kind of see the black outline behind the skull. This one, the same thing. Uh, let's go back to this one. Toggle square. Color it black. There you can kind of tell. This one's the same way. You got to do like this for like every single one of the emblems because uh, they're too wide and you won't be able to tell where they are sometimes. It kind of making it look like it was a sticker. That's like, that's why you gotta make it look like it, kind of. Sometimes, if it blends well with the gun, then you don't need to do it. So, just saying. Like this one, you can do the same thing, but it's not gonna come out good. Oh, it actually, because looks pretty good. Okay, so we can leave it like fucking like that. It looks pretty freaking evil. 
that's what, that's what the that was the purpose of this whole thing to make it look like evil as hell. Even though that this is like one of the less used weapons, like I want to make it look evil as fuck. So it looks pretty much well done. I use this color right here behind some of these goals. Let me see. Maybe with a combination of two of these damn things, it would be good. Yeah. Maybe I just use the same color as the other one because it really doesn't look well done. Purple and pink. Oh, it's purple and red. Okay. It's because it goes very, very well with a little, the, the little centipede that it has going on those on its eyes. So I want to kind of match it. It's too much, no. It's because I gotta add like a background to make it like stand out a little bit more. Let me see. Actually just copy and paste it. I mean, it doesn't really have another different color, that's why I can't like, use so many colors with it. We got something there. Blue and red, that's another good combination. I can't really tell how big it is, okay, there it is. Press square and then just color it black. There, yeah, now it looks alright. Pretty simple, but I want to do something about these skulls. Maybe we can also like toggle gradient on it. Why is this transparent all of a sudden? Has to be like a very bright pink, or just bright colors in general. Why am I making these pink? To be honest, <laughs> why am I making even any of these things pink? I'm a guy, but it looks it's because of the like emblem, freaking that color. So I have to like put it, I have to like kind of match it too. Oh, there we go. Because pink and blue sometimes looks good that combination so we can do the same thing with these this one doesn't look that good why why is it so bright It's not supposed to be that bright. Whatever. We'll just keep it blue and blue. Hmm. Would it look better if it's in front of it? I mean, some of them do. I guess that one is supposed to be like that, and then the other one the same way. Where it's supposed to be in front of it. Because it's not the, supposed to be the main one. The middle one is the main one. The main emblem that I want it to be like like normal. While the other two are the most messed up. So so that's that's the idea we, we got here. So it kind of looks all right, to be honest. Uh, not too, not too perfect, but it's all right. 
Is that another one of these? Nah. Let's just keep it like that, whatever. It doesn't look like it goes with it, right? I think I kind of messed it up with the skulls on the outside. Whatever. I mean, it's an idea. It, it is an idea. There, named it Skully. I mean, it's better than this. <laughs> Looks like I just like put the pistol down, color it white, and then just like got the paintbrush and like just threw it all on it. That's all I did to it. <laughs> so now we got a good looking pistol. At least we're not getting pistol grips in this game. Freaking uh, in, in Call of Duty World War II, I know every time you open a loot box, you get a pistol grip. Aren't we glad that thing is over now? Freaking. Give me a second here. <laughs> it's like one hour to work for her. What the hell is she calling me for? So, we got a good looking pistol there. Well, I don't, I don't have any camels with it though. <laughs> I, need to get, I need to make a lot, of, a lot of headshots with this damn thing to get some camels. But you, kind of, you can kind of tell like it stands out pretty much well. I'll just let the background camels like take over the background instead of me making one, so kind of looks like it's look, like it's better like that so it looks alright it looks it looks okay-ish and at the same time I can just grab this emblem and create it for another one I should like customize like really customize like the unicorn just make it like look like very specific I think I'm just gonna do three and maybe I'll just fix this one for a little bit and then that's it like just a few emblems for you guys so, um, with this one, I wanted to color it black. I'm not sure if I can. Oh, yeah, yeah I can, I can. I used to do this a lot with some of my older emblems. Okay. I wanted to, like, match the axes like that, like, the background axes. Kinda is. There you go. Now this one you cannot even put gradients on it because I know the colors are just, gonna, are just gonna stretch too much. So I'm like making it super simple. Like I said, all you have to do is just grab the, the one of the stickers and just put a bunch of background stuff on it. It's simple to do. Like I said, anybody can do this. This is just shield. <laughs> you can't tell what the shield starts or shield ends, so I have to like make it solid. Put an outside layer. put this one on it now the thing is the skull covers like the background of it so you don't have to see the other skull so all you get is gonna see like the little wiggle part which is important maybe these colors need to change Why is it all looking like freaking? <laughs> I want to turn on some pink again. Fucking a. There. Making it look a little bit dangerous. This one's so simple though. Just put like a bullet on it and just like make it look like it's like going over. This is the first one that I did. This is the one that I have for the MX-9. This is one that I was trying to finish, but I didn't because it doesn't look like very well. Because uh, some of the parts of the of the uh, rampart covers it, so I was like, eh, you know, just put some eyes there. The the face of a wolf. You can kind of tell though. You can kind of tell. 
and then just the front part you see how like it has like put a good combination of colors right there like it looks like it was like uh wild and shit i like it i don't think i have one for this one do i no for the other because i don't use that one much i just have it there just in case they call in a chopper you know i have like the salvo and the titan with double fmj so that's there this one I'm gonna leave it like this to be honest. It's just so simple that it doesn't need much to do. This one I'm gonna leave it like this. Looks like it's like back in the jungle. And that's it. I think that's the end of the tutorial guys. Just wanted to show you how to customize some weapon paint. So you guys don't have to like walk around with just some bland weapons. And uh, you know you guys want me to do more tutorials about anything else. You know let me know. Cause I believe this one's the best one that I made. <laughs> Even though I did get lazy like halfway. If I were to finish the whole thing, I might have like make it look better. So um I think I would just add a splash effect behind a unicorn with all the rainbow in the background. And then it would look it would it would have looked well. It would look well done. So let me show you guys some of the emblems that I currently have. And uh like these are my emblems right now. The Tachanka one, this one's already uploaded to YouTube. This one's this one actually got me like a thousand eight hundred views. Why the hell? <laughs> I guess people really want to be Ash or something. It's not that difficult to do, really. This one's the easiest emblem you can do, like from all the from the whole freaking game. This one or the uh the one for Tachanka also. This one's difficult, but it, it came out pretty much well. I think this is like my most perfect emblem, <laughs> to be honest, with the Kebi one. If you guys do not know where I'm getting all this from, this is from Rainbow Six Siege. You guys can search it up. Search up their names. Ash or Ash logo from Rainbow Six Siege or Dokebi. You should be able to see their, their emblems and that's how it looks. This one I did because I read their redemption too. I used to have this kind of emblem back in, in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. So uh, I brought it back to this game. The Cavera one came out ugly to be honest. I think this is like one of my worst looking emblems. If you guys do not get what I why why I think it looks ugly, go look at the original emblem and look at this one. This one's ugly. I think this one's like my worst video of the whole damn series for the emblems. Uh this one came out the best also. This one this one and the KB one are my best ones. It came out nice. To be honest, this one I thought it was it wasn't gonna be that difficult, but when it came down to the teats, because they're they're not that perfectly straight. They're like crooked. Um, I have to like kind of like you know add some emblems so I can make it look like like wavy and all that stuff. And I and then I just ran out of space too. <laughs> the thing is, you can actually put this whole emblem on your weapon. So this is the Jager one that I wanted to do, but it came out ugly. Now that's Jager. <laughs> that's that's Jager's emblem, and it doesn't look good. That's why I didn't do a video about it. This one, I think the bottom one, the bottom bullet. The bottom bullet bill, I guess, if you guys play Mario. Uh, it came out too big, to be honest. So this one's like amateurish kind of looking emblem. It's not that good. Even though it looks impressive, but it's not that good. Like compare this one to the original Buck emblem. You should see the problems with this one and uh, compared to the other one. Now this one's like my most complicated emblem of all time, to be honest. It took me so Mm, it took me like freaking 40 minutes just to like kind of like get it right. Uh, the face part is the most difficult part because there was like no actual shape of the of some of the parts of the of the bandana, so it became difficult for a while. But like, uh, it looked good at the end. The problem was the hair though. I couldn't really like kind of like shape out the black part behind it, so I had to like just use a, a regular emblem in the background to like, uh, kind of like. Um, you know, make it look like it was like that. I should have just used a black background. Now, this video that I made for Ninja, I actually have the most dislikes on. <laughs> People dislike this emblem speed paint video that I did, and it currently stands like around seven dislikes, I think, because people wanted to see the tutorial for this one, and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do it. Or people don't have the patience to like really watch the whole video and see how it comes out towards the end, because it came out, like, it comes out like this. This is how it looks. You can search up emblem for the for ninja and it's literally like this. So I'm not sure either they disliked it because they don't have patience or they disliked it because I put the video on speed mode. <laughs> so it looks pretty dope. It looks nice. My most complicated emblem that looks pretty much nice. But these two are my best ones. Uh, the Ila and the Dokebi one. 
even though this one got me like over 1,800 views and this one's already going for 2,000 views. So, um, so yeah, those are, those are my emblems. I'll probably do like an emblem to talk. They put the little triangle on me? Really? I thought they took it off. The little shameful triangle. <laughs> there was like news about that. But like yeah, that's that's the end of the of the live stream, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Um, if you guys want to see, like I said, like you guys want to see more more emblem tutorials or something like that, you know, let me know in the comment sections. I'll do like another one live if I wanted to. Um, I'll probably do like a simple one, kind of like Pac Man or or Kirby. I haven't done a single Nintendo one. I should do like a Nintendo one. I know they're simple to do. Even bullet bills and bullet bills. So. Hello, Joe. Hey, what's up, Cow Cow? I'm sorry for not reading your comment earlier. It's just that it doesn't pop, like, down here at all. I'm not sure what's wrong with my PS4. Or uh, maybe it's just the updates that's really killing live stream. I don't know why it does that. So. That is it, guys. I'll see you guys on my next live stream, which will probably be... Um, I'm going I'm to try to get Battlefield 5. I haven't gotten it because I, I know they put it back to 50 bucks. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> they increased the price on Battlefield 5, man. Jesus. I should have just bought it during Christmas. So, I'll see you guys on my next live stream. Take care, everybody.